This is America's most haunted home, The Conjuring House. A place so haunted, most people can't even last an hour. But me and my friends will be spending the next 12 hours trying to survive the entire night, all because of a bet we made a few weeks ago. You guys are a bunch of wimps. This is not scary at all. I promise you if this was real life, you would be terrified right now. Bro, I promise you, I would be fine. We're at the Conjuring house. No one no. I knew it. I knew it. No way. Are you serious? No way, bro. Yo, I'm religious. Aren't there demons in this house? We are literally in the most haunted place in America. One of the things I read is that the movie doesn't do the real events justice. It was way more scary, but they couldn't put it in the film because of how bad it was. I don't want to be here. The atmosphere does feel pretty eerie. Really? I'm not going to lie to you. The whole reason I was interested in coming to this place is because of my friends, Sam and Colby. Should I FaceTime them and see what they think? Yo. Yo. Because of you guys' video, we're at the Conjuring house right now. <laughs> this is gonna be the scariest night of your life. Really? For real. Seriously, that basement, I recommend do not go down there like alone. There's something dark down there. The second most haunted is the middle room upstairs. Three times our friends have been grabbed in the basement, like and when they go off by themselves. So okay. that's why I'm saying I don't think you should go off by yourself. If anything happens to me, this is your guys' fault because you inspired oh, this video. <laughs> So we brought all of this equipment to go through the night and look for these ghosts. So we have this thing right here. Humans radiate heat, so the idea is if we point that forward, you'd be able to see ourselves, but hopefully we can find something else. So right here we have a REM pod. It detects motion, so when you touch it, it glows like that. It's gonna be so fun going through here with our equipment. I think first we should just walk through and see what this house is all about. All right, let's start our tour. There's the scary way. So we are currently in the seance room. This is where Ed and Lorraine Warren, the most famous ghost hunters of all time, performed an exorcism on Miss Perrin. Once they started, Miss Perrin got scratch marks and bruises and even levitated and thrown across the room. The guy who gave us the tour said this is one of the most active rooms in the entire house. There's literally a Annabelle doll right here. <laughs> Warning, positively do not open. Whoa, what the? You don't just hear that bump? Like something just like hit the wall or furniture. Right in here is the library. It's so old from the colonial days. You know, I don't see any Bible on this bookshelf. All these books I'm looking at right here are about like mental disorders. They're not Junie B. Jones. What the hell is that? Whoa! That made me jump. He's got a dragon. Oh my God. Okay, I'm turning off the lights again. Library's all yours. I heard that. Did you hear the tick? In 1973, when Ed and Lorraine Warren came to help out the parents, she walked right through that door and screamed, Bathsheba. <laughs> Now Bathsheba is depicted as a witch in all of the films, and while they're not quite sure if she's the ghost hunting this house, it is for certain she was a real person and lived very close to this home, and was even believed to practice witchcraft. So this is the creepy basement. I'm actually scared of this door. I don't really want to go down there. That means we need to go down there. We'll do that later. Like my chest is just really tight. Like it just feels like someone's like squeezing my chest. Like if someone's giving me like a really big bear hug right now. That actually happened right after we opened the basement door. So we released something great. All right. What do you guys think of them old school stairs? This actually looks like my bedroom. Minus the Lightning McQueen stuff. Yeah. <laughs> my chest still hurts. Like the pain has not gone away. This staircase is so sketchy. I just, something keeps oh, yeah. touching my hair. I'm not even kidding. Every two seconds it happens and I turn around and then like, Hayden's there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot Hayden was already downstairs and I just jumped right through. <laughs> We've checked out the house. We've heard a few noises, but nothing crazy yet. So I think it's time to get all of our crazy equipment and go around the house. I'm going to set a REM pod right here at this doorway. This one's going at the other entrance. You touch have it. to actually just touch it and get close. Yeah. So wind can't put this off. Watch out below. Nothing. It's all touched. We're gonna be using this spirit box, these noise canceling headphones, and this blindfold. What you have to do is put on these headphones, plug it into this radio. So you're gonna be the only one hearing what's coming through the radio. So it's gonna flip through all the channels and you're just gonna hear static basically. It'll be like, and certain words will pop through. Oh, I'm getting a pinch on my back right now. Is it for real? Yeah. So we're gonna start by doing this in the library and we're gonna do this later on in the basement. Can you, can you see, see anything? No. I can tell. Okay. Turning it on in three, two, one. All right. Can you hear me? Now we just ask the spirits questions. Are you here in the house with us? Down. Has demonic possession ever happened in this house? Well, my back's really warm right now. I don't know why. Is there anyone here right now with us? 
demented? Do you want to hurt one of us? Not him. If you're in the room with us, can you talk to Matthew, please? Can we? Can we do what? Basement. What do you want to do in the basement? I have shells right now. Fine. Would you like to hang out with Matthew? Would you like to hang out with Hayden? Get up. Get up. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't like that it said that when you pointed to me. Hi. Whoa, that was creepy. It was never safe here. Hang. What? It was never safe in this library or the house? The woman hung herself. She's the one with the broken neck. <gasps> Is it house? Oh my god. Whoa. What was that coldness? Holy f I'm not even joking. Are you serious? Did someone just blow air out? I, no. I pointed at the globe. I just felt my whole body shiver with coldness. You see how cold I am? Look yeah. at my arm. So one of us is gonna have to go in the basement by ourselves. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I'm not scared. Blindfold me right now. Go. I say we go upstairs first. Why is that shaking? This bell is just shaking and no one touched it. We're gonna have to definitely stay up through the night to experience everything. So I brought some G Fuel to energize us through the night. Good thing, because I'm already tired. Hey, ready? You really don't want to sleep here, huh? You guys have probably seen or heard of the movie The Conjuring. And while that movie is based on actual events that happen here, it's not completely factual. In the early 1970s, the Perrin family moved here and right away started experiencing paranormal activity like bed shaking or even getting scratched. When they first moved in, the old owner told them to keep the lights on when they sleep at night. This continues to be one of the most visited and investigated paranormal sites in the entire world and the most active. And right now, we're in the birthing room where they used to have all the mothers come to give birth. I can't imagine. This room is filled with nails that go through the roof. You can't even stand up straight. Her tour guide said that the lady hung herself in the attic. There's a guy named John Arnold. He did live here. His wife hung herself and it says in her attic. This woman was the one that was basically responsible for everything the parents went through. Is this considered the attic? Supposedly at witching hour it starts to get crazy in here around 3 a.m. and it's currently 2 o'clock. The REM pod's going off? Yes, the REM pod was just going off. Holy sh**. Whoa. Yo, it just started going. If there's someone in this room, if there's someone in this room, can you make that thing go off again? What? <gasps> it just, it's going off. Oh, dude, it's making loud noises. You see that? Why is it flashing blue? It was as soon as we walked away. It's like it doesn't want us to know where it's here. It's like freezing in here. The temperature definitely did shift. I was not expecting it to be this cold. He said the graves were straight out from the back door and you can find them with green flags. Did you guys hear that howling? Yes, you just yeah. heard that too? Ooh. This is so sketchy. Oh, Turn the light. I swear I saw something just go into that bush right there. There's literally something over. I told you something big. I just saw something move. But why are you going? Well, that's the grave right there, the flag. You're telling me that we saw something peek up and down by the graves. Yeah. Yeah. That area is not good. I think outside was way scarier than it is inside. What is that noise? Or the REM pod. Why is it going off? I'm scared, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one closest to it. Yeah. <laughs> No way, it's going off. No way. Oh! Both of them. Both. No. <laughs> Something's in the room. What? <laughs> Something's in the room at that That scared. was terrifying. Yo. Yo, that was, that got me. That was terrifying. <laughs> it could just be chilling in the corner. That's why I'm so afraid, bro. Like, it could be anywhere right here. Now that one's going off. That one was going off I before, and now one. it's this one. Oh my God. This is the room where I felt the wind. This is where the REM pods are active. If there's a... One, two, three. What does that mean? It's how the <laughs> demons mock the Holy Trinity, and it is 2.47. 13 minutes till witching hour. Since there's a spirit in this room with us, please touch the REM pod. We're not asking, by the way, we're telling. Please be respectful to the spirits. <laughs> I looked up the dragonfly meaning yeah. as to why there's one in here, and it could be carrying a message from the dead. All right, everybody, it is exactly three o'clock. It is witching hour. Officially witching hour. So are we going in the basement? Yeah, yep. time has come. I have not been looking forward to this. Cheyenne is literally shivering. Are you okay? Yeah. I feel like she's so scared, bro. We need to say a prayer or something before we go to home. Okay. I'll lead us. Our dear only father, we're thankful for the opportunity to be here. We've seen some scary things and we pray for your protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Oh my gosh. Don't let that door close. In other videos, I've seen it lock. We are in the basement of the conjuring house. There's just spider webs everywhere on the ceiling. 
There's literally a homemade Ouija board. Before we go do the Estes method, we're checking out the entire basement. Yo, look at this snake skin, bro. Oh. Why did you have to say you weren't scared? Now we're here because of you. This is your fault. So this room is referred to as the well room because there's a giant water well at the bottom right here. This used to be a preschool in this box. There's actually a picture of a lady with a broken neck that's been here for 20 years. So they think that maybe the kid saw something and instantly drew it. I feel like we should turn on the REM pods down here and see what happens. We just set up the REM pod in the well room and it's already going off. There's no one around that at all. Matt, look. Now this thing's frozen. It won't turn back on. Like, should we say any quick prayer or anything? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. The other REM pod's going off. <gasps> it's going off like crazy. As soon as you prayed. Did that make it mad? Is there anyone in this basement that wants to communicate with us? You can touch a REM pod or say something to Aaron. This isn't working. The other REM pod's going off again. What? So no one is around it still. This genuinely might be the most scared I've ever been in my life. I just feel so vulnerable and small. You? Are we alone down here? With? Me? What's your name? No, that just said you with me. Baby, baby. why? Ask. I said baby, why ask? Yeah. Did it just say that to me? Yeah. yeah. Is this the same spirit we were interacting with upstairs? Red lights blinking in the box. Are you friendly? <gasps> REM pod's going yeah. off. Yeah. He's friendly. What's your friendly. name? Friendly. Me. Are you the spirit that was with the parents all those years ago? No. These are like legitimately clear yeah. answers. Aaron cannot hear anything we're saying about right now. Aaron. Aaron. What? Should we go upstairs? Just wait a little bit longer, dude. Are we safe down here? Are we? I am Bathsheba. No, oh, okay. I'm good. Really Aaron, let's go. Aaron, I'm going upstairs. Aaron, are you serious? Yeah, I swear to God. I clearly asked, who is it? And it said Bathsheba. Look at my arm right now. I don't think I can last. Bro, we have to pull through. I don't feel safe in this house anymore. What do we do? I said we go back down. I said, are we safe? And it said, are we? It was like asking it back, like in a playful way. Yeah. As a team, we sat and talked about it for a while and not really any of us want to go back downstairs besides Hayden. That just was not enough. I need more. I want to hug him just in case. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm not dying, you guys. Just do good. You got this. Turning the light off in three, two, one. He's in the basement with no lights. If anything crazy happens, we have to run down there. If there's any spirit down here with me right now, can you please turn the REM pod on? Yo, did your REM pod just turn on? Yeah, it's yes. ours. I just asked it to turn the REM pod on. No way. I swear to God. That's really crazy because I just heard a noise behind me. There's a spirit up here. Can you make the thing go off again? The light, please. If there's a spirit up here with us, can you please turn the REM pod off in three, two, one. <gasps> it did on one. Oh, Yo, what the hell? Stop. You okay? Hayden, are you all right? Let's go. We're coming, we're coming. The pod's going off behind me. Yo, 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 yo. Let's go upstairs. I, I literally felt it walk past me. This pod's going off like crazy. Bro, grab all that shit or what? There's no one there. I need a second, bro. <laughs> I need to go upstairs. upstairs. I'm about to pass out, G. <laughs> I'm sorry I broke your candles. I was sitting in my chair and I kept seeing over in this corner and like hearing noises. Let's go upstairs. You're pale in the face. Let's go, bro. You're literally shaking. I know. Like that was legitimately terrifying. Combination of that and what I heard in my ear, I'm legitimately not joking right now. Like that was terrifying. You should shut the door. Was that the action? In my left ear, it literally was like, I've never seen you like this, bro. Bro, that yeah. was literally the most terrifying thing I've probably ever experienced. 